During my job search, I built some AI agents that helped me track my job applications, organize my documents, prepare for interviews, and I built all of this in Notion with their MCP server. And after I got my job offer, I figured it would be a great tool that would be helpful for other people. And you know, maybe I could turn it into a side project or something. But then Notion literally dropped their new AI agents. That's so annoying because I have a really hard time coming up with good ideas. I probably should have seen it coming though. My homegrown agent was kind of a hot mess and it needed a lot of work to clean up. It was ugly and it was kind of hard to use because you had to know how to run a local server and maybe write some Python. But the Notion agent is basically designed for non-technical people to use. It's also made by Notion themselves, so it's actually a much nicer user experience than what I wrote. So what I'm going to do is share with you the actual Notion workspace that I use to organize my job applications and to prepare for interviews. Then I'll show you how you could save time using AI agents. Not mine, because that ship has sailed, but the product I wish was mine. And if you're in the same boat as I was just a few weeks ago, you can grab my application interview Notion template in the description below. Now this video is sponsored by Notion. Thank you, Notion, for sponsoring. But just so you know, I will only ever recommend products that I have personally used and actually enjoy using. And I've been using Notion for years at this point. It basically helps me manage my life, like, you know, vacation planning with my family, financial planning, even planning and research for YouTube. It's actually kind of scary how much my life is in Notion. And I do all of this while I'm still on their free plan because your girl likes a good deal of zero dollars. And if you're not familiar with Notion, it's software you can use to store and create content. But the defining thing about them is that they have a really powerful and easy to use database for organizing information. And this information can be displayed in tables, charts, calendars, forms, or Gantt charts if you're familiar. And you don't need to be a software engineer to be able to use these tools. Anyways, let's take a look at my little template. So what you wanna do is copy over the template by clicking this button over here. So now that you have it, let's open up and see all the pages. Okay, so you have the database here. So let's take a look at all applications. So each row has the company and the application information. Let's just open this one right here. Um, these are all the fields that I went ahead and created. It's probably a lot more than you need, but you can delete what you don't need and add what you do need. And uh, moving back to this view, you can add in a new entry by just creating new and then typing in whatever company that it is that you are applying to. Or you could go ahead and click new up here and then it'll open up a page where you could just type in all the information if you prefer this view. And when you do actually have interviews, there's a separate table that is connected to the applications table. And you could go ahead and add in the interview that you might've just gotten. Since it's connected, you could pick the company, which is based off of the application table you have an interview coming up for. And then you can go to the interview calendar to see all of the interviews that you have coming up. Or you could go check out the interview loops which will show you all the interviews you have in sort of like a Gantt chart view. So this is pretty straightforward. You just grab all the information from the job listing and then fill the table. But what can the agent do for you? So what if I found some job listings, like maybe 10 of them? 10 job listings to add into this table is going to be kind of annoying. And this is actually the perfect thing for an agent to do. So you can use the agent in this little icon in the corner right here. You can choose which model you want to use if you have a preference, but I'm just going to leave it in auto for now. And just to make this a little bit faster, I'm going to have two job listings and just have the agent help me with this. So the prompt reads, I have two job descriptions. Review the links and add all relevant information to the all applications table. List them as to apply. Mark the manager role as high priority. And these are two actual real job descriptions. So I'm gonna go ahead and have the agent do its work. So we have them added here did what I wanted it to do to apply and it did mark this as high, this as medium. And I have here not that much information. And then you could also open it up to see how it's doing. Uh, last attempt was because it, it timed out. So let's just give it a try again. Let's open it to see what it looks like. It has all of the information, the notes and everything. Application template. I also created a template here so that you could add additional information. So I'm gonna ask it to do a little bit of additional work using the template. I wanted to fully research the company and fill out the information and copy the job description for the role in the job description section specifically. And additionally, my uncle's friend is Mohammed, who is the global chair at PwC. So add some information in the networking notes and then I threw in a LinkedIn link as well. So let's have it do this extra work. 
And here's Mohammed. Like you just saw there, something went wrong. The nice thing, like I've noticed that it is able to correct itself when, when it can. Okay, so it says it's done. Um, Copy job descriptions, full job descriptions, so that we now have the full job descriptions for these and we don't have to link it every time. And another thing you can do is ask it about your data. Like if you want to make a super cool Sankey diagram, because everybody loves a Sankey diagram, you could ask it for the information so that you could create one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I paste it in the prompt and I'm going to ask it to get the information for me. So it has the data and I could just go ahead and grab these numbers and add it to like a Sankey diagram creator or something like that. So I know building a workflow template like this might feel overkill for some people, but for me, I'm one of those anxious A-type overthinkers. So it's not just about organization, but it's kind of like a mental self-defense of some sort. There was one point I got five rejection emails in the span of two days and it made me feel so powerless. There's a name for this, an external locus of control where you feel like life is just happening to you and you have no say in it. Building the system, being organized and tracking all the applications that I had and all the actions I did, it helps me get back my internal locus of control. So that way I'm not being passive and just letting things happen to me. I'm actively doing things to take back my power. And it actually really helped me, you know, stay focused and be positive. So once you've got your applications organized, the real challenge begins, which is prepping for the actual interviews. And trust me, this is where things can go wrong. Let me tell you about the time I had two hiring manager interviews and I mixed up the dental AI company with the medical AI company. Yeah, that didn't go well. <laughs> So let's go into the prep section and I'll show you how to build a cheat sheet of sorts so you could avoid my mistakes. Here I have mock data for someone named Anne with an E. Ugh. Who? Anne. I haven't met him. Yes, you have. Michael had met Anne. And Anne with an E is a senior user experience researcher and she's looking for a job. In the resources folder, I have likely interview questions that a UXR might be asked during their interview. I have all of her annual reviews as well as her peer reviews. And in the resume folder, we have her master resume that includes all the roles she's ever worked in in the nearly 20 years of working. If you're wondering, I had AI generate all of these documents and try to make it seem as realistic as possible. And if you do use this template, I do recommend providing as much information as you can. This is so the agent can have all the information so that it could create the documents for you. So we haven't applied to that founding UXR role just yet because we ideally want to apply with a resume that is custom tailored to this particular role here. This basically helps with the ATS, which is applicant tracking system, so that it doesn't filter you out and it gives you a better chance of getting through to a recruiter. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I have here, you are an expert technical resume writer and hiring manager for my application for Posh. I want you to analyze the job description, identify the most critical keywords, skills, qualifications, then review the master resume. Remember, you can attach these to uh, the page by searching through it like this. And then, you know, create a new resume, update bullet points, etc. Use the resources if you need to. And remember the resources are over here. It has all the reviews and peer reviews. And uh, once that's done, add the document to the synthesize folder. That's why I created this folder here. Just use it as a dumping ground. So let's go ahead and do this. So it's done and you can see that it created the file for me that I asked. It has all the bullet points that are pertinent to that job description. Obviously, you don't want to just submit this resume without looking at it. Uh, you do want to review it because AI could just make stuff up and you don't want to be inadvertently lying on your resume. But either way, that's a pretty quick way of creating a custom tailored resume to a role you're applying to. Now, let's say you got the interview for this role with the hiring manager. Another way you could have the agent help you is to synthesize the answers for common interview questions based on your experience. Okay, so I have this prompt. Again, I'm linking all the relevant documents that I wanted to look at. And after it's done answering the questions for me, I'm just gonna ask it to dump it in the synthesized folder once again. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, it is finally done. So um, it created interview answers that are tailored specifically with all of the documents that I listed here for that specific role. And let's take a look at it. Okay, so this is the document based on the actual annual reviews for this Anne with an E. 
I now have a document that is tailored specifically with the actual job description and my personal experience. Now that you have the document, you could read it over, you could study it, and just it just makes it a lot easier for you. Now, another idea might be having the agent do research on the company itself, or if you know who your interviewer is and they have some kind of public presence, maybe the agent can also research them so that you could have some something more to connect with when you're having the interview. All right, now one of my favorite things is that you can also customize your agent on Notion. I was so tempted to name it Zeus after my cat, who unfortunately went to the Rainbow Road a few years ago, and I kind of missed the guy. Uh, but then again, he was kind of distracting. So maybe that's not the best name. I want an agent to help me be more productive. So I'm super curious, what name would you give your agent? Is it Alfred or Clippy? Let's have some fun and share it in the comments. Now, aside from the name, you could also dress it up. And I'm, I'm very interested in what this coming soon is going to be. Like, I need a pirate. Notion, if you're listening, I need a pirate. Thank you. And the other neat thing is that you could set up rules and instructions for your agent. Let's create our own. And it would give you this page with my Notion AI. You can fill this out to be whatever you want it to be. So I went ahead and filled it out. And I feel like the neat thing here is that you could have it capture your preferences and add it to the memory section here. As you're working it, you could even ask the agent to update it as well with your preferences. Here's my very short chat interaction. So let's go ahead and ask Jack to do something. And a very quick thing is to have him summarize the page. So let's go ahead and do that and see what comes out. And it gives additional information. This is the encouragement that I wanted here. You've got a smart setup ready to power your search. Hoist the sails and make your own. Arr! <laughs> And word on the street is that Notion is currently working on the ability to create custom agents where you could have it run automatically and do stuff for you, like running some kind of report every Monday or after you have a link to have it make sure it runs through a checklist or something like that. So that's my job search system with a much better AI agent than the one I originally built. And you don't have to be super technical in order to use it because it's built to be accessible to everyone. And you could grab the exact template from this video in the link below by copying it to your own Notion account. And go ahead, get rid of what you don't need and add whatever works for you for your situation. And you can use Notion's agents to help customize it, to research, and just make it your own system for what works for you. Trying Notion is free and using my link would be a massive, no cost way to support this channel. I don't get commissions or anything, but it will show Notion that my videos are helpful to you. And if you want, feel free to let me know if you're interested in other templates I might have, like budgeting, content creation, or even vacation planning. And remember, the right tool at the right time doesn't just make you productive. It could give you back your confidence and control when you might need it the most. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you another time.